I get questions all the time about winching and probably one of the biggest questions that I get is what should I run, synthetic rope or wire rope? And I've talked about this in the past, we've talked about it on Live Talk, but I've never really broken it down and went into a lot of detail with it. So today, I'm gonna actually break it down and give you the pros and cons of each so you can make a decision on which one you wanna run. The first one we're gonna start out with is wire rope. Now, wire rope has been around forever. It's extremely durable. It's abrasion resistant. A lot of people are familiar with this, especially if they do a lot of rock crawling or in the workforce, like logging, tow trucks. You know, a lot of those folks really like the wire rope. Now, let's come over here to the synthetic rope, and there's always a debate on this. Is the wire rope better because it's more heavier duty, it's abrasion resistant, or is the synthetic rope better because it is actually as strong, if not stronger than the wire rope. And a lot of people can't grasp that concept because it is a rope, it's synthetic, and it's a lot easier to work with. It's more manageable. It doesn't burr or fray like your wire rope does. Um, there's a lot of benefits to the synthetic because uh, also if you're using this in a recovery situation and somebody's in water and you throw this out there, this is gonna float. Um, you can also stack it to more one side on the drum if your machine is stacking it to the one side on the drum here it's not going to break your rods like your wire rope will so there's just a lot of pros to this there's a lot of pros to the wire rope um, one thing about the synthetic rope is you have to use an abrasion sleeve and whenever you pull this line out before you put your hook on you want to make sure you put your abrasion sleeve on so that way if you're doing anything you can use your sleeve like if you were winching on something you put your sleeve there and then your rope slides through it and it doesn't hurt your rope now if you really want to double down on that there's a uh, abrasion sleeve that's removable. So this here, you can just put it on your synthetic rope and if you needed two points of contact for an abrasion sleeve on rocks or something that you're winching on, this is really a big benefit if you're using synthetic rope. I've been using both the wire rope and synthetic rope for years, and in my opinion, for the, our application, the way we winch, uh, the synthetic rope is the way to go. Now that we've talked a lot about the pros for both of them, let's talk a little bit about the cons so you can make a final decision of which one is best for you. So let's take a look at the wire rope. You know, it's not as flexible, it kinks, it frays, it gets burrs, um, it also develops memory. So there's a lot of things that's uh, really difficult with the wire rope as far as using it. Um, um, now the synthetic rope, this is definitely easier to use, way more user friendly, it's flexible, you can get away with a lot more as far as like stacking to one side, you're not going to bend the rods. Um, in my opinion, it's just a lot easier to use. Now there's three things a synthetic rope doesn't like, and that's UV, chemicals, and abrasions. If you can keep that in mind and give good maintenance to your synthetic rope, you're going to get a lot of longevity out of it. If it's a cost thing, um, and you're looking at something like the VRX45 with the wire rope, this one is about $80 to $100 cheaper than the VRX45S with the synthetic rope. Um, and then if you're looking at weight, uh, the VRX45 with the wire rope is 22 pounds, the VRX45S with the synthetic rope is 17 pounds. There's a, so there's a five pound difference there. So depending on whether or not you take weight into consideration, I know a lot of guys think lighter is faster, so they try and be very weight conscientious about what they put on their machine. But either way, at the end of the day, in my opinion, you really can't go wrong with the wire or the synthetic. It's all on how you use it and how you maintain it. 